Oh, my no, first one was so horrible. Like they shut down the ward, not shut down the ward, but they do not accept any students there anymore because it was so bad. And mm. that was my very first placement. So yeah. I really oh, thought, wow. do I really want to do this? Yeah. It's, it was horrible, but. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nadine and welcome back to a brand new video. So as you can tell, I've got two special guests here with me and we're gonna do a nursing versus midwifery video. So before we get into the video, they're gonna do a quick intro, tell you guys about themselves, what they do, what they studied and things like that. And then we're gonna get started with this nurse versus midwife q a and to see which one is best for you so without further ado let's get into the intros let's start with my girl here on the right hi everyone i'm sarah i have i studied adult nursing at the university of Hertfordshire, mm -hmm. and i am currently a clinical team manager hi everyone my name is esther i studied um child nursing at city university in london um, and i'm currently a pediatric junior sister did you hear that? Junior sister! Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And for those that don't know who I am, if you're new to my channel, I'm Nadine. I'm a registered midwife and I studied at the University of West London. So, without further ado, we've got some questions here. We're going to answer them and we're going to be as true and as honest as we can. And yeah, so we can give you guys some insight if you're thinking of either doing nursing or either doing midwifery or is it adult nursing or child nursing we have all the questions for you not all the questions but we're going to dive into some of the questions mm -hmm. so if you have any questions be sure to leave them in the comment section below hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed already and also hit that like button for more content so without further ado let's get started you guys ready ready yes yeah. So we're going to answer these questions one at a time to okay. see the similarities, to see the difference between the two courses because you do adult, you do child nursing, which is why I picked you guys because you guys do nursing but it's special, special field, specialist field, is, it, is that what you call it or is it just different? Yeah, areas? Areas. yeah. yeah. No. <clears throat> so what qualifications do you need to study your degree? So let's start with adult nursing. What do you need to actually study the degree? So taking it all the way back to GCSEs, you mm -hmm. need to have your five A to C's, including maths, English, and science. Mm -hmm. um, and then in college, it really depends, but it has to be like a science-based subject. Mm -hmm. Some people get in it with like health and social care mm -hmm. as well. Um, there is a access to nursing course, apparently, I've mm -hmm. heard about recently. But yeah, something in that field, please. Lovely, and you? Yeah, so it's pretty much the same. G the GCSEs is the five A A starter Cs, mm -hmm. um, and then I think for college or sixth form, I think it was like BBC. Mm. Yeah, I think the grades are like BBC. In any something. subject, or has it? Does it have to be like? So I think yeah, I think they do prefer health, if you okay, have yeah. like a science based. Yeah, thing based. They um, take as long as you have. Yeah. To be honest, I think they're pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean you do an interview anyways yeah. and mm -hmm. you do like a little test before you get yeah. into uni so Okay, well for me it's the same five A's to C's but I know now GCSE they don't do A's to C's anymore. Oh, they do numbers yeah. like some number grading <laughs> <ones. laughs> So we don't, know, we don't know what the number system is but in our time it was yeah the five A's to C's and you have to include your maths and English for sure mm -hmm. um, and all the other GCSEs didn't really matter too much mm -hmm. and then for college what did I say like that? <laughs> for college, <laughs> you had to do, um, you had to um, get a certain UCAS points yeah. to get onto the course. So they did it as points. As long as you did something that amounted to the points, you can get, you can go to uni. Um, but I did um, double health, A level, and I did sociology as well. Oh, yeah. So, yes, um, with your degrees, did you have to have experience or not? They prefer experience, yeah. but it's not a must. Yeah. Yeah. Same with yours? Yeah, same. Yeah, same with mine. You don't have to have experience, but it's a plus. And it's, mm. a, it's a, like beneficial if you have experience, but you don't have to have experience. Because I have um, some uh, peers of mine that were on the midwifery course that came from like teaching. Oh. And then had literally no knowledge of health. Yeah. They, they just got the points, they got mm. to the uni and then that was literally it. So like, welcome, welcome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So. What subject did you pick to get to help you get onto the course for A-levels or college? So I first started off doing my A-levels. I've done 
I killed myself. I love chemistry, and biology, maths, oh, and science. Oh, I did the same thought. I did the same. Why did you guys do that to yourself? I don't know. Because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be a doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
honestly because it's like when you don't know the right thing to say you're just panicking but yeah (laughs) what is your course structure like do you have and do you have placement where when you was at uni a lot of placement i think it was like 50 yeah so yeah i was 50 50 50 50, yeah yeah yeah, it's like six weeks here eight weeks there and I think the last one is like 12 weeks and then on top of that all the hours that you've missed out. Oh, yeah. you guys had it hard. We never had anything more than four weeks. Really? Yeah. I hate. I hated four week placement because yeah, it was so short. You just we get in here and then you are like, bye. Yeah, yeah, we had four weeks two. of placement and four weeks of uni. Really? Mm-hmm. Always. That is lovely. Yeah. More like no, more time. We, we never, have... yeah, we never spent longer than four weeks on placement. No, because I want it. You have to do A and E. It's either A and or ITU, mm. then you have to do a community one. Mm. You have to do surgical, medical, outpatients. I think those are the six that you must. Then you get one. Um, what do you call it when you can like just choose where you, you know, elective. Elective. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get one elective, and then you've got your management placement. That's yeah. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I remember for us, so the course was fifty fifty. So fifty percent practical, fifty percent theory. First year was ten percent of the grade. So mm-hmm. you know how like all other courses they're like, yeah, our first, yeah, our first year doesn't count. Oh yeah, first year was ten percent, so you still have to do well. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, first year was ten percent. Second year was forty percent, and third year was sixty percent of the grade. Oh. Um. And then I think the first year was like all theory mm-hmm. until May. So May, June, July we did placements. <gasps> really? Yeah. Um, See, I think that would be so much better. Yeah, because I, I want in November straight placements. Yeah, I find that a lot when? these days a lot of but students. Sports. Yeah, mm-hmm. these days a lot of students they go into placement like so early on yeah. first year and it's like they don't even know anything yet. Honestly, nothing. I was just there like, oh hi, I went to uni for a month and a half. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we did as well. We went we went straight out into placement as well. We'll go to yeah. uni for like one month or so and then we're yeah. out of placement. Oh wow. But I do see it though because they want you to go out and experience yeah, it. Experience. So when you come back, you actually know. For some people about. I feel like that will be like such a hard hit, they'll be like, No, I can't do this. Drop it out. I'm gone. Bye. <laughs> yeah, no, but that's the real test to see yeah, what it is. is right it is good to do. Yeah. To do it early. But do you know what it is? I really do think it depends on what placement you get. No, for real. Yeah, and for real. Mental, My zero. first one was so horrible. Like they shut down the ward. Not shut down the ward, but they do not accept any students there anymore because it was so bad. Mm. And that was my very first placement. So yeah. I really oh, thought, wow. do I really want to do this? Yeah. It's, it was horrible. But <laughs> um, so midwives, the, our structure is yeah. So we go on placement, and then we do community as well. Mm-hmm. We do labour ward, we do postnatal ward, we do antenatal ward, we do clinics. What else do we do? Yeah, clinics. And then we do so in uni we have uh, assignments, exams, verbal exams, mm-hmm. and we have OSCEs. I don't know yeah. if you guys yeah, have OSCEs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had OSCEs, and we had another one called like Vivers. Oh, no, it's like another word. This is like another form of like OSCEs, but this one you have to like remember things like twenty scenarios, and then they pick one of the scenarios out of the twenty, and that's that's and the one. To... That's the one you have to like talk about. So you learn twenty, and then they pick one out of the twenty. Oh wow, that's not nice. <laughs> yeah did, did you have a midwife placement in your? No, no, we didn't. We didn't. So our placements, we had yeah, we had community, we had special school, mm-hmm. we had either A and E or um, pediatric intensive care or neonates I did neonates mm. um, so you get different specialist wards you have to do general ward yeah okay we had like one day of my twitter thing one day where you go <laughs> they did oh, everybody's waiting for the birth oh, <laughs> you probably didn't see a birth no, that day I didn't, I didn't. Oh. some people did and they saw like c-sections and stuff like that they put me in the community you didn't get to experience the, no. the life. You could have been a midwife like me. <laughs> you saw, you I could have bought it, you know. For nursing, I wanted to be a midwife. Did yeah. it? Yeah. No, I wanted to be a paramedic. Then I couldn't because I didn't get into uni. I had thoughts about being a paramedic. And then, I don't know what it is about. They were like, oh, nursing or midwifery. And I thought, mm, maybe midwifery. And then something happened and I ended up a nurse. That's <laughs> literally <laughs> like me. I didn't initially want to be a nurse. I wanted to be a physio. Oh. I wanted to be a physiotherapist. Yeah. Well, I actually didn't know why my cousin was doing it, and I was like, "Oh, that looks cool." Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "I, I want to do that." And then I didn't get a grade for that. Then yeah, I went into clearing and chose nursing. Ah, yeah. Oh, so what did they want? Like top, 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 top marks, top grades? No, I just didn't do it's, well on my own. No, physio is really difficult. Is it really yeah, difficult yeah, to I've get in? And yeah, oh. yeah. I had a friend that tried it, and she didn't get in it. But I did, to be honest with you, I went to. I 
I think I went to clearing and then the guy just looked at me and he was like, have you ever thought about nursing? And I was like, I don't know what nurses do. <laughs> oh, is that how you yeah. went Yeah. And then I remember I had a cousin who was a nurse and she was like trying to explain to me what they did. Mm. I was like, oh, sounds interesting. I said, is it in hospital? Yeah, okay. Because <laughs> all I knew you is, it. yeah, I, I knew I wanted to do something medical related, but in hospitals. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Anything else about your course structure that was different, that is that stands out? Oh yeah, did you guys have um, what's it called, drug drug calculation exam? Yeah, drug, yeah. Like every year, every year or once? I think every year. Yeah, I think so. We had only had it once one year. Even when you qualify. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I remember to get our first job, we had to do the drug calculation yeah. test by the employer, though. Yeah, 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 but not uni. No. Yeah. So in uni you just had to do it three years every th every no we do I think, a test. I think it was every year. You do it. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was every well, year, but we definitely do a drug calculation. Test. We just did it once. I oh, know we definitely mm -hmm. did it in and first year and I think third year. I can't remember if we did. It's a blur. You have to get, get like hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's no hundred percent. Drug calculation. No, you have to get hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. We did it once in middle three and then. That was that. That was that. Next okay. question is: How many years does it take to be a nurse or a midwife? So I think it's all pretty three, same. Three, three years. Yeah. So all of us are going to take three years. Mm -hmm. Actually, for me, if you're a nurse already, it takes eighteen months. Mm -hmm. to yeah. So if you have to, yeah. Yeah, to become yeah. a midwife, so if you're a nurse already, you can you can whether it's child nursing or adult nursing, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. I think with nursing as well, if you already have a degree, then you can do the like post grad diploma, mm -hmm. and that's just a year and a half, I think. Yeah. 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 To become a nurse. Yeah. Okay, so what are the specialist or <coughs> career progressions like in your area or in your field? Name, Anything you name five. <laughs> name five specialists you can do. You can become an ACP, as a clinical practitioner, where you can like prescribe medications as well. Mm -hmm. Then you can obviously specialize in like certain areas, like do you want to be surgical? Do you want to do like diabetes? You know, cardiology. Mm -hmm. um, you can go on study even further and do medicine if you want to mm -hmm. if you really have the patience <laughs> what else um and then you just sort of like work your way up in bending as well and then you specialize in whatever field you find mm -hmm. how about you so you can work on a ward mm -hmm. so whatever ward that is it could be a general ward or it could be like a specialist ward mm -hmm. my ward is what well, used to be like half respiratory half hematology medical but now it's just one big ward you mm. kind of get everything and everything, um, but mostly respiratory. Um, you can, yeah, there's different wards, surgical, um, gastro, different, different wards. Um, you can become a health visitor, so a health visitor. Mm -hmm. that um, it's basically the person that a woman and the baby will go to after a midwife, mm. and that's from the ages of zero to five. You can become a school nurse. So those are the nurses that are in schools, mm -hmm. do like care plans and all that kind of stuff, look after kids with special needs, allergies, all that kind of stuff. You can become a nurse specialist, clinical nurse specialist or community nurse specialist. Um, I was a sickle cell nurse specialist for two years. Mm -hmm. um, so basically you like choose the field you want to go into, mm -hmm. like if there's the job that out there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you can specialise in that. There's community nurses, like there's, there's so much. Just going, you can come yeah. work your way up, become <laughs> a matron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's so much. Um, for us, you can be uh, yeah, diabetes specialist midwife, you can be a safeguarding midwife, you mm. can be a, what else is there? Um, managers, matrons, you could be, my mind's gone blank, but there's so Do many you have, like infection control. And stuff yeah, like we've got that. infection control mm -hmm. midwife. We've got an audit midwife. We have um, band sevens. Mm -hmm. So those are like the um, the one that coordinate shifts. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, like we have like bed managers. Yeah, yeah, bed manager. Have, yeah. yeah, they coordinate not shifts, but like. What do you mean, like the nurse? I mean, nurse midwife you that have in charge. Yes, yeah, so you have nurse That's in charge. Me, uh, oh, yeah. What's just midwife? Nurse in charge. Yeah. yeah. So you That's do. It. So you, so when they come in, you allocate who's going to where. Yeah, we allocate the. Yeah, we allocate the nurses to the patients. Oh, we call them coordinators. Yeah. Coordinate oh. the coordinator. Oh. Uh, yeah, we just call them nurse charge. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Well, yeah, we have. What else do we have? We have a. Um, Director of midwife, 
and things like consultant midwife. Why am I forgetting the, the, yeah, the big ones? The big ones. <laughs> yeah, consultant <laughs> midwife. So yeah, there's loads of career progressions um, in our fields, mm. as you can tell. So where do you see yourself in five years in terms of career <gasps> progression? <sighs> <laughs> or where would you like to see yourself in five years? I wanted to do something totally different. I don't want to work like the job that I'm doing now, although it's really good and I've mm -hmm. recently had my promotion and I like it, but I want to do aesthetics. Oh really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know exactly. what? I've been thinking about that as well, I'm not going to yeah, lie. I've been looking into aesthetics. it, I've been looking into it. Yeah. Honestly, but I'm thinking like, I shouldn't let go of where I am now mm. because it took me so long mm. to get there. That's Maybe the thing, you could always like, do that and still like mm. do banking agency and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. Or like That's part time. definitely something. And I want to be, um, do my own prescribing because it will help out yes. a lot. So then I'll have my own business, I prescribe my own medications, I'll take care of you. I've got my nursing degree to back me up and then go mm -hmm. from there. And then work on the side as well. Okay, and you? Career progression in five years? Uh, yeah. Aesthetics is definitely something I've been thinking about. Either that or... What? Pediatric developmental nurse. Yeah, PDN. Oh, PDN. Or practice yeah. developmental nurse. So, is that so they basically teach, like, newly qualified nurses <gasps> so they teach. See, that's what I was going to say! <laughs> I want to be a CPM! <laughs> yeah, so oh. different places call them, like, different things. Okay, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, we call them practice, practice educators. Yeah, practice oh, yeah. educators. Yeah. Yeah. Or developmental nurses, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, they basically teach all the newly qualified yeah. nurses or any courses that need to be taught. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Oh, no, no, I, I want to do students. Student, mid, student midwife. Oh, yeah. yeah they oh, do so do, well. no, student students. And, Students will be the practice educator. Mm. So and so that would be developmental no, nurses. Really one, one oh. lady for our department and she does the students as well as the newly qualified nurses. Oh, ours are separate. So yeah, oh. students is different from newly qualified. Yeah, we have separate from students, newly qualified. Yeah. Student, but to be doing. honest, both of those interests um both of those roles I'm interested in. That is lovely. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna aspire to that. So yeah, I wanna be a CPF and like train them, help them along the way yeah. and stuff like that. And my other one is consultant midwife. <gasps> Yeah, I want to go and dive into that and be a consultant midwife. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see where it takes us. Oh yeah, so with your question, when you were talking about your um, prescribing, a question mm -hmm. came to mind. So question, the, are nurse, is there anything that nurses can prescribe or is it just doctors that prescribe? What, like on, once you qualify? Yeah, as a nurse, like a, a registered nurse. No, you, you, don't, don't, you don't prescribe. You guys no, don't prescribe. No, Do you prescribe? No. Yeah. Oh. So there's certain see. medications you can give in emergencies without having yeah, a doctor's prescription, yeah. but no, you can't. There's just nothing you can give prescribe. your or no. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for, so for us, there's like we can prescribe medication mm -hmm. and give out medication. So we have like a mid it's called a midwifery exam. So mm -hmm. there's medication on there that we're able to like write on the drug chart ourselves oh. and give to like. So you guys don't do that. No. Mm -hmm. But then you. Emergency. But you guys can take a course to do that. Yeah. 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 Like a I think it's six like independent prescribing yeah. course. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk salary and bands. So let's, let's start with the band that you start off once you're qualified. So what band do you guys technically start on when you yeah, qualify? You start as five. five. And then after the year you can progress. No, no, no. <laughs> no so do you know that's something that. it's only because of you that I know this now that midwifery is actually so different that yeah. you're progressing to a six. Yeah, you have to earn your six. You have to earn your six. There is no like, oh my god, you've been qualified for two years here. No, you, you no, can be a really? five for ten years if you yeah, want. Yeah, I've known people that are a five for years and they're happy and content. Yeah. I mean you you have little small increments yeah. in that salary, mm. but you will never reach that banding unless you go yeah. to, to the interview yeah. and then but you have yeah, to apply for apply it. Apply for it and yeah. Oh, yeah, so for me, we start as a band five, yeah, and then you there's no such thing as a midwife on a band five forever. If that mm. makes sense, so you can't stay on the band five. If you stay on a band five, they look, they're like, you need to come. Let's put you on a band six. Like that you can't amazing. stay on your band. Like, well, unless you haven't completed your competencies and you're not competent, then obviously you stay there. But they will still like focus on your. So what is it like a year and then you like? You have to do it within a year, but uh, you can do it six months if you want. Ah, oh. interesting. Yeah. Mm. Amen. That's your work. So, do you guys know the rough starting salary of a nurse in your areas? I feel like in it was London. around. I feel like it was around twenty one, but then with the London waiting, it's around mm. twenty four. I think. I think my one was like twenty six, but I was like in London, London. You was like right in the heart. Ours was twenty five, if I remember yeah. correctly. Twenty five, like that. Yeah. And then yeah. obviously, I mean, it's good for when you start. 
you see them it's, coming. It's very in. good yeah. when you start. When, when, when I saw your money, thing, I was like, yes, let's go. And then after a while, he's like, what's this? Like, it is. <laughs> the money's going. <laughs> but yeah, just a disclaimer, we all work and live in London. So yeah. everywhere, the pay is different yeah. and yeah. things like that. So this is just from our personal experience. Yeah. But yes, let's move on to the next question. So where can you work as a nurse or midwife? Anywhere. I don't like where the type of different anymore. settings you can work. Community, hospital, private settings, yeah. um, companies as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I've left the hospitals about two years ago now. Yeah. Mm. In, no, in terms of me. leaving the hospitals, where so what kind of setting do you work in? Like a school, office? A it's like an office setting, but it's like I work for. Well, it's huge. I work for the London Ambulance Service, so mm -hmm. it's huge. Mm -hmm. But it's like it's it's like behind the computer. It's more management, yeah, rather than hands on and on the walls yeah. and stuff. But yeah. I still go back to the hospital whenever I want to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same with so you. It's clinical. You can be clinical or non-clinical. Mm. Um, community, acute hospital. Um, you can work in places like CQC, mm. CCG. Oh. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of admin or like managerial roles yeah, like, that aren't clinical that you can work in yeah there's like so much so much definitely. you can do yeah for us it's the same community clinics wards um uh what else you can work in people's homes so home births and stuff like that mm. just honestly just just only only doing home births and not actually going to the hospital mm. some midwives that actually do that but yeah mm. all different kinds of settings so next question what are the challenges that you have faced as a nurse or midwife oh goodness <laughs> short staffing oh yeah, yeah. That, was, that was like the top of my list being short staffed is like the main challenge and that's just across the forever line. being main, short staffed <laughs> um another challenge i think this was newly qualified um I, giving handover talking and addressing like i was like big groups of people like all yeah. the doctors and the consultant looks looking at you like and then the ask question, you're like, um, 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 <laughs> but now, okay, I can do it fine. But that that was like a big challenge as a new new to qualify, like handover, yeah. addressing, yeah. like, small, like public speaking is just yeah. not my forte. Mm -hmm. My thing, I think, obviously, with everything you guys mentioned, mm -hmm. but it's also like we look young, like we said yeah. earlier. And I feel like some people just don't take you serious, yeah. especially yeah. if you want to try and aim a bit higher. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, like a small, small girl. <laughs> they, don't, they don't even know how old we are. Like, we're old. Like, Listen, how I old? have the experience behind you, so I can do the job. And <laughs> you should base it on like my mm -hmm. abilities mm -hmm. rather than mm -hmm. no one is going to do And I, I still feel like that. I feel like even where, where I am now, I feel like I can't, I should be able to go up to the doctors and talk to them and tell them. Can you do this or any other? But I don't think they would listen to me. Mm. No, you still, you still should. You should go yeah. there and be like, mm. what no, I'm more comfortable, comfortable now. now. Yeah, I'm more comfortable now, and they do listen to me. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> but I do sometimes think twice, and I'm like, oh, should I really? Okay, so next one is about uni. So, how did you find your university experience? It was okay. I studied in London, so I had a different experience to a lot of people who have gone out of London. Studying in London is... Yeah. <laughs> you're basically going to school. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you're still living at home. If you're living in like halls yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And stuff. Because most London universities don't have like a proper campus. Mm. It's like you've got the uni building and then you've got different uni accommodations all over the gaff. Yeah. Um, I would sometimes stay at like my cousin's places because they it's live like sad. near, but that's only if I was like, if I knew I was going to be like out late or whatever, but mm. I didn't really have that like campus, campus experience. Lifestyle. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's fun, um, don't get me wrong, like, the campus life is nice, but you need to know that you're doing nursing, you're not doing like business management where like, they have the so other much free doing. time. And then everyone wants to go out and party because you know, 18, you, you're at your mm. parents' house and I'm like, I have placement in the morning. I can't do that. Literally. And or I have a nine a.m. And our school, like our lessons, are full time. Yeah. It's like September to July. There is like a literally. four week summer holiday, and everyone is just enjoying life and enjoying the uni life mm -hmm. as well. And you're just like, I can't participate. But yeah. small, small, and here and there, yeah. you know, you have to have a balance. Yeah. But I feel like studying as a nurse, like you only know nurses. Yeah. Like you don't actually meet people Anyone from other else. courses yeah. unless you actually actively go out of your way. Because exactly. you're constantly in your nine to five studying, 
or nine to five lectures or your placements yeah. around the clock. Like, yeah. It's just like in your little bubble. Yeah. <laughs> um, how would I describe mine? The you know, I don't know. I think I'll describe it as hard. It was hard. It was. It was literally. There have been times where I was like ah, overwhelmed and mm. like blew my hair out. But it was fun. It was very. It was an experience. Yeah. That's what I'll say. It was an experience. That's how I will describe my university experience. Okay. So next question is: What was the process after qualifying? Do you remember like getting a job? Like, uh, li literally, you've sent in your last um, paperwork for uni mm -hmm. and you've now qualified, you've had your graduation. What was the process after that? Holiday. No. <laughs> <laughs> I went on holiday. That was the process. Professionally, <laughs> like, like how, did you, how do you guys apply for your NMC pin? What, how long oh. did it come? What did you have to pay for oh, it? Right. Do I did you go for, for a job this? straight away? Yeah. So, just before you qualify, you get a letter from the NMC because your school has already sent yeah. some paperwork off and they're like, mm -hmm. we heard you're qualifying, can we have 120 uh, pounds oh, or something pounds. like that? And I'm like, cash oh, money. I remember I was so broke. I was like, Dad, can you pay for it? Because <laughs> I was like, this is our first week of the month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, and then they they encourage you to apply for jobs in your third year anyway. Yeah. So mm -hmm. most yeah. people have a job aligned. Yeah, before you finish. But I told my job like, my you start need break yeah, you, can, you can give them a start yeah. date. Like mm. two months, please. Yeah. Um, and then you go, and then obviously you do your uniform check, and then you get your little badge, and it says staff nurse. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but um, the process is actually quite like quick mm. and like yeah. stressless journey. Yeah, it's I think very because because yeah. you do your interview whilst you're in your third year, literally you just start. Yeah. But like, you, you have just to wait for your pin, and then yeah. Everything just happens. I think naturally. for me, I started working straight away because we finished in July. We had the summer break, yeah, and then I started in September as a HCA. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Like, I know people who took like a year out. I know people who said, "No, I'm not starting until like October or mm. January." Mm -hmm. I was like, "No, I want money, man." <laughs> <laughs> so I started working straight away as a HCA. Then your pin comes in around yeah. October, and then yeah. The work. minute you get your pin, you go to your manager you're like, look, I got a pin. I'm on the red like, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that was the same with us. We got the letter, the email from the NMC to apply for mm -hmm. the pin and pay for it, and then it came through. And then, but I didn't apply straight away. I waited six months because <gasps> I was like, I need a break. Oh, you need. You I needed a break. break. <laughs> I, did, I told, yeah, I took six months, and then I started. So I got my pin in September. I started in March. Is that, is, that, is that six months? Ish, so. yeah. Ish. Yeah. But yeah, that's literally, and then I went to the interview and mm. stuff like that. Yeah. The next question is, can you be mentors? Yes, we can be mentors. Can you ask Soon after qualifying. Actually, to be they fair, make you a mentor. we <laughs> can't be mentors as a preceptee. Well, they don't um, recommend it because mm. you're still kind of like yeah, finding your feet qualified for a certain term. amount of time. Yeah, so they don't recommend to be a preceptee while you're still on that journey okay. to be a mentor. And we have like, uh, it's different now. Before it was mentor and co-mentor. Mm. So in, like newly qualified could be a co-mentor, but yeah. it could be like a main mentor. Like main mentor. Um, but now I think it's called mentor and co-mentor. Why do they change the names? And, they change their names. And, and, um, and, and how they like, work. Like, yeah, like, yeah, it's still the same it. thing. Because before you would have like, do you have to do training? Because they yeah, change you have it to, like, it's a like a little training. Yeah, a little, yeah. yeah, you do the little course and then. That's yeah. it. And before we had used to have sign off mentors as well. Mm -hmm. So to sign off like a third year to say I'm happy for you to be a qualified nurse. Oh, you that one. Yeah. To do your sign off mentorship it's different, course yeah. as well. Yeah. I did that before as well. Mm. And you have to put your pin there at the bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you have to put your pin. You, we just if you're signing, sign yeah, if you're signing someone off, yeah, you put your to pin say there. I'm happy for this person to be a qualified nurse. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, I've never done that before. Maybe I, maybe I, I haven't. I, haven't I was, I was looking yet. at my mentor like, find it. <laughs> She's like, oh, where, where's my pin? I'm like, oh, <laughs> find it quick. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Because my one, they didn't have the pin number. Really? Or no. Like, if you was a student and I was your mentor, I was and they were trying to your final, your final, pin. final. Yeah, they yeah. didn't have it. Just name and signature. That's it. Oh no, yeah. No, you signed. No, you got your pin. Wait. Wait. I like that wrist. Yeah. Yes. You know that pin is everything. Literally. No <laughs> way. I didn't know you had to do that. Yeah. Do you, have, do you think? Do you know if they do that currently? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Still. Really. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Definitely for nurses. Yeah. Wow. We didn't. Have, we didn't have to do that. Pin. Oh mm. God. Okay. So if you do something wrong, ten years down the line, they'll be like, 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 like this pin. Let's do it. 
No, by the end of the day, people can change, innit? If you put your pin there and you thought they were actually capable of being a good nurse. At the time. At the time, yeah. yeah. If they go back and do some yeah. higgy stuff, then, you know, um, they shouldn't hold you accountable. I'm sure one day we'll show they will call you. <laughs> <laughs> So, we're gonna go to what advice would you give a future nurse or a midwife, starting from you? Oh. <laughs> what advice, what's your best advice you'd give now that you've like done the process, got a job and everything? Um, ooh. I would say study, like actually study, mm -hmm. because it's not easy. Like, not to scare anyone, but mm -hmm. you actually need the knowledge to be able yeah. to carry out your practice. Um, yeah, and know the rationale behind everything and enjoy it. Yeah. Like enjoy the process. Yeah, definitely. Because it is diff it's not difficult, it's just long. Mm -hmm. So you want to enjoy it as much as you can. Mm -hmm. yeah. Make it as fun yeah. as you can. How about you? I always say to people and I say to my in my little sisters as well, like find a good balance in life. Yeah. So study, but mm -hmm. also enjoy it because before you know it time flies and you're just gonna look back and be like what did I just do mm. it's going to be difficult mm. but it's worth it at the end uh, what I'll say is um, oh grab every opportunity on placement while you can like yes. try and see every single yeah. thing don't leave early when someone's trying to show you like a c-section or show you like a home birth like if you have to do overtime do overtime but make sure you see all the experience because you're going to blink and you're qualified and you haven't seen all of that and now you're like i don't know what to do i've never seen this before yeah. but yeah try and grab every single opportunity that is handed to you and say yes to as many as you can and see it and do as many things as you can as a student because once you're qualified you're left there on your own to handle everything so mm -hmm. yes that's my piece of advice the next question is why did you pick to become a nurse. I think we, I think you picked yeah. it by accident. Yeah. Yeah. Accident. Yeah. It's not an accident. She accidentally became a nurse. How about you? No, it was an accident. It was an accident. It wasn't like your passion beforehand or no. And the, the weird thing is, there's like so many nurses in my family, but like that was never my mm. thing. Like I've always loved doing. Like I've always been a practical person. I always said I wanted to do something practical because I did um, a placement in. Um, secondary school in an office and I was like, I can never sit in an office. <laughs> um, but yeah, when I chose to do physiotherapy and I didn't get in, me and my sister were literally on the sofa looking at the computer like, she was like, so what do you want to do? I was like, I don't know. She's like, you like kids? What about teaching? I was like, nah. She's like, what about child nursing? I was like, okay. So literally that's yeah. how I became a nurse. Oh wow. Yeah. And I haven't looked back since, so... <gasps> it's flashing! Okay, okay. So now that it's flashing. Oh, okay. I always wanted to be a midwife since, like, I don't know, when I was doing GCCs. Like, that was, like, yeah. always, 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 it. always it's been like, hearing this. It's, like, <laughs> it's been always, like, the beginning, beginning. Um, do you think we have time for one question or should we round it up? Squeeze it in quick. Squeeze it in it. Okay, okay, I'm crowning. If you could do anything else, what would it be? Other than nursing. If you could choose a different career path, what would it be? Well, I bake also. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I bake. You do that full time? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah? Yeah. You? I choose that. Oh, yeah. Be somewhere in this world, working somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I actually wanted to be a professional dancer if I wasn't going to be a midwife. <laughs> I could actually, I could see. <laughs> I could if see. there was any other job I could do, is dance behind that. Beyonce and Rihanna during their concert. Yeah, I see that. Shake your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my other career choice if I was in a midwife. If, if it was at all possible but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll put the lovely ladies details in the description box below so you can go harass them on social media <laughs> um but yes guys thank you guys for watching and do comment below for any questions that you guys may have um hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already uh any last words before we wrap up they've got shy on me now please <laughs> we need you guys we need more nurses no, we need <laughs> yeah, it's, not, it's not even a trick like if you've been thinking about it, just just apply. Just look, we'll help you. Yes. And if yeah. you want more videos with the two ladies here, please comment below and I will literally take them and bring them again so we can do more videos. So without further ado, bye guys. And we'll see you in the next video.